Good morning. It's Fellowship Day 160. It's a uh, end to a nice round week with a nice round number, day 160. And with it being a Friday, <clears throat> what I'm doing today actually feeds nicely into the theme of what I would like to share with you. And that is that where possible, it's not always possible, but where it is possible and I can try my hardest. Days like today have zero meetings, few distractions, no other commitments, a presence and awareness of trying somewhat selfishly not to say yes to anything unexpectedly. Because today I want to make a writing day. And when I first tried my hand at independent academic work back in 2017. Uh, I remember it being being at an early career conference filled with um, uh, others around my career stage. You know, I, I didn't speak for them, but you know, many you could get the sense like me were nervous about the pursuit, worried about where money was coming from. Um, how best to balance what can quite stereotypically become um, an overbearing workload academically. And one of the best things that stuck with me from that event was listening to one of the senior professors who was giving a, a talk for us. And he mentioned the concept of writing days uh, and keeping some time for that. It sounds incredibly simple, but by the same chords, the conversation was around how it's so easy for all of us to say yes to everything because we're desperate to impress. We want to get in some fashion beyond the the yo-yo that is a series of short-term contracts and zero lack of any sort of stability. The, the, the likelihood of that more broadly is a conversation for another time. But anyway... This concept of writing days, although simple, was profound because the audience was full of people who have problems saying no and are at a career stage wanting to say yes. I said yes to a lot of stuff that I now regret, but I now have the, the gift of hindsight to see that those were mistakes that I won't be making again. So today's a writing day. Uh, I'm uploading corrections to a paper that we started over a year ago, but the process of peer reviews made it much better. It's been a slog, but today it will be submitted. Um, then continuing with another paper, I'm trying to get through a, a draft of that to share back with my team members and a good job of putting together the first draft. And then, and only then, if I get those things done. I will continue a different type of writing task and writing some more code, which I've mentioned on previous days. But everything and anything that I do today is writing one thing at a time, one task at a time, the revisions, the new paper, then the code. The revisions, the new paper, then the code. Note that I didn't say the revisions and the new paper and the code. I'm not bouncing between these things. I'm trying not to task switch. I will do the revisions. Then I'll do the new paper. And if and only if I get that done, I'll treat myself to writing some code. Treat myself to writing some code. Yes, I am that geeky. And I love it. So another short one to do, but a consideration for you. If you are someone who says yes to everything, but wish you were, so inclined if you feel that you are just saying yes just because you feel you have to not because you genuinely want to if it is stopping you setting aside those writing days that you want to get papers out or personal writing projects or other forms of writing project where you need the deep work how is it that you might be able to make that time to say no more often and carve out quiet time 
for the writing that you want. Hope you have a good day and a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday for day 161. Bye for now. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, head over to the website where not only will you find the written blog versions of these podcasts, you'll find my leadership blog series, the daily thought series, and information about my book on managing the imposter phenomenon. We also have even more free resources and webinars linked to the YouTube channel. So head on over to dr-mark-read.com. That's dr-mark with a c-reid.com. Thanks again for listening.